okay now let us talk about a very important feature uh, of light microscope which is uh, numerical aperture you must know numerical aperture before uh, going to the light microscopy detailing okay so what is the numerical aperture this is a feature of lenses which is being used for uh, the light microscopy purposes so what do we mean by numerical aperture what numerical aperture actually suggests the numerical aperture of a microscope objective lens is a measure of its ability to gather light so this is a basic part so it's it determines the ability of the objective to gather light okay and what numerical aperture is doing in a greater scale it is actually helping to resolve the specimen detail now what do you mean by resolving the specimen detail it means uh, to distinguish the s the different small points as separate entities this is called the resolving power so what is the resolving power actually the resolving power is the power of an objective lens or of an our eye so if we uh, think about generalized terms to separate to distinguish between two different points as separate entities so as long as we can separate two different uh, points as a separate entities we can call our resolving power the distance between them we call we call our, our resolving power okay and the and, and the less the distance between uh, those two uh, um, points we can distinguish that means we have a higher level of we have a greater level of resolving power normally our human eye cannot be able to separate the points uh, in of a miniature scale in a miniature scale that's why we need lenses like objective lenses to resolve better to resolve much much better now i can i must say one thing clearly uh, as it is called microscope uh, and and many people think the only uh, purpose of a microscope is to magnify things is completely wrong because microscope is designed not only to magnify an object but also to see that object in much more resolving power okay so ma magnification along with resolving power will, will are the mm, good properties of a microscope so if you think about a good microscope it must resolve better and it must mm, uh, it has to be have two dif di this two of this uh, properties one you have to resolve better second one is to magnification to to magnify uh, properly now uh, what is numerical aperture actually so uh, as i have told numerical aperture uh, if we think about the mag ma mathematical terms then you can say numerical aperture is something that you cannot see or you cannot l see by looking at the objective by looking at uh, uh, the um, setup of a microscope you can see numerical aperture written in the, in this microscope lens but that doesn't mean how you cannot know how this numerical aperture come to exist okay so this numerical aperture if you think about the mathematical equation that can be derived from this new looking at this numerical aperture uh, that is uh, in a numerical aperture designated as caps n caps a it equals to n sine alpha so this is the formula for a numerical aperture i want you to uh, look at this formula why because i am telling you in a moment because you, if you look at this formula if you memorize this formula then you can know all the properties of numerical aperture because when you have to fiddle around, around this numerical aperture so not uh, usually uh, the people who are handling microscope usually have to fiddle around with this numerical aperture but those who are manufacturing it have to do that and what they can do by mm, changing something uh, from one place to another place the numerical aperture can be varied and you can know this numerical aperture have a very very serious effect in the resolving power so if you change numerical aperture it will affect the resolving power okay so again uh, back to the equation n a equals to n sin alpha so in this case n we know this name n it means the refractive index of a medium and what do you mean by refractive index i am just repeating it again refractive index is just the difference of velocity uh, of a light in a vacuum divided by the the velocity of a light in a particular medium okay or uh, in in a, in the example medium in this case okay so it is the n so this numerical aperture into sin alpha what do we mean by the sin alpha normally 
we know that sin alpha this kind of thing designates the angle uh, so in this case also the alpha means here is a cone so if we think about this if we think about objective is there and this is our uh, specimen this is our slide where we can put specimen and if we draw an axis through this line uh, uh, perpendicular uh, uh, axis and then you can find a cone of light so if we think light is coming from below throughout the uh, through this light source and uh, it will reflect through this uh, slide and it will grow like this it will go like this so it will create a cone it is we call it the light cone and this light cone is designated as alpha and uh, we, we, ca we call this light cone as alpha so it is an angle so in this picture don't go to this picture Th this will be an angle and this angle is called the angular aperture of this objective lens okay so the angle light beams come from the specimen towards the objective is called the angular aperture which is designated by the sine alpha so the angle of sine alpha in this case uh, is uh, this angular aperture into n which is the refractive index of this medium okay so these two things are account for making this numerical aperture as you can see in this picture so two things really really important which will which is controlling the numerical aperture for an objective lens it is one is the refractive index of the medium and second one is the angular aperture that means this angular aperture also depends on two things one is uh, uh, the wavelength of light which is uh, designated as uh, lambda as well as another one is the distance of objective from the specimen slide okay so in this three uh, in this picture you can see three different examples in uh, a, a b c three different examples in these three examples we can see as we are moving this uh, objective lens closer to this uh, slide specimen the numerical aperture is getting increased okay so I just want you to look at this kind of data because this kind of da data can tell you many much more important things so don't go to memorize and uh, mug up all those things just look at it logically so when whenever we are making we are whenever we are taking this uh, objective closer to the specimen what it does it is actually changing the angle because as uh, when, whenever this is uh, coming closer the angle is getting increased that means this sine alpha is getting increased uh, as the sine alpha is getting increased the na or numerical aperture is getting increased that's a basic uh, th that's our basic or common sense this is uh, this is our common sense to uh, derive this from this equation okay and uh, uh, so it is a part of this angle so if we change the angular aperture it will gonna reflect in uh, the changing the numerical aperture now what about the second term or, or what is the n or refractive index if we change the refractive index it will again change the numerical aperture if we rise the refractive index it will change the numerical aperture that means if we change n if we rise in it will rise our numerical aperture so let's look at how can we rise a refractive index okay now let's look back to the equation of a refractive index uh, which is n equals to c which is the velocity of light in uh, um, air or in vacuum divided by n uh, or divided by v small v say so this v de denote uh, denotes the velocity of light in uh, the in the uh, in example media in this case which is again air so if we think the n in air then it will be 1 into sin alpha so we can designate it n equals n equals sin alpha in air so in all this case the only things matter so in all the case if we use uh, objective and uh, sample slide in uh, air uh, which is surrounded by air the we only thing we have to ma the only thing matters is the distance between this objective and the specimen slide okay because n in those cases is always one so in this case uh, the, if we change the alpha it will change the n a okay but now we can change n a we can rise n a in further much by just putting a separate environment uh, uh, separate density containing environment in the m in in the in the middle of this objective and specimen slide what we can put we can put something which is having a higher refractive index 
as we know water is having a slightly higher refractive index than air and again oil is having a, a much more higher refractive index than uh, air so we can put oil in between this objective and specimen slide to get a higher numerical aperture and that's what is normally can be done to look at this so if we add oil or glycerin or something which is having a higher refractive index higher n it will make n a higher okay that's our basic idea about this topic okay now i'm i uh, i want to say another thing uh, before closing this topic is uh, how magnification is related to this numerical aperture so magnification is not hampered by numerical aperture so if we can rise this numerical aperture more and more it will going to rise the magnification power that's good right so uh, we need a higher magnification power because ultimately we need to magnify the specimen which we cannot see with our bare eyes so we need to magnify if we rise numerical aperture it means we can rise the magnification of that object via these objectives okay so how we can rise we can uh, rise it via focusing the objective at its particular point as well as uh, we can rise it via putting oil in between the objective and uh, the specimen slide okay and not all the objective are designed to put oil between them and specimen slide but fewer objective when you have to have magnify it much more like 100x uh, as we know in those cases we have to put oils and generally cedar wood oil cedar wood oil uh, is a type of oil which has been taken so if you use those cedar wood oil uh, in between the objective and specimen slide it it normally rises it helps to rise the magnification power in much more ability not only magnification power but the resolving power because n we know that numerical aperture helps us to resolve between two different points so it's not only via the magnification but also the resolving power of the mi microscope that we have to think about when you talk about the numerical aperture okay so if you are rising numerical aperture that means we are rising uh, the mm, we are rising the magnification power but after some point a resolving power of the uh, after some point as we are increasing the magnification power but the resolving power will get decrease in those situations we need to control the resolving power and we can control the resolving power we can improve the resolving power by putting oil in between the objective and the slide okay